Hello, and thanks for downloading the first beta of Firefox 4. In this video, we'll be quickly reviewing some of the user interface changes that we've made in beta 1. This is still a very early beta, so some features aren't fully complete, and nothing's polished yet. One of the great things about using such an early build of Firefox 4 is that it gives you a chance to give us feedback. Regardless of what platform you're on, one of the first things you'll notice is a button called Feedback on the far right side of the toolbar. This obviously isn't a permanent addition to our UI, but it's a great way for you to communicate with us during the course of the beta program. If at any time Firefox makes you happy, we want to know. And if Firefox gets you angry for any reason, please tell us why. You can also use the Feedback button to control if you would like to allow Firefox to run any studies on the user interface, and view more information about the types of studies that you can participate in. The next feature that we've landed for all platforms is called Switch to Tab. This feature is really useful. You can now search across to all of your open tabs using the Awesome Bar. When you're searching with the Awesome Bar, if you see the text Switch to Tab, you can select that result to quickly switch over to it. And while we're talking about tabs, you probably noticed that we changed the default option to place tabs on top. If you're curious why we've made this change, we've got a whole separate video explaining our rationale that you might want to check out. Currently, we've only landed this change for users on Windows, but in future betas, we'll also be making the change for users on Linux and OS X. If after using it for a while, you decide that you'd really rather have things back the way that they were in earlier versions of Firefox, you can right-click on the toolbar and uncheck the option Tabs on Top. The final change to the interface that you might notice in Beta 1 is the Firefox button. This is a change for users of modern versions of Windows, specifically Windows Vista and Windows 7. If you're using Windows 2000 or Windows XP, you'll still have the traditional menu bar. The Firefox button contains all of the commands for controlling Firefox. For instance, having Firefox send a link, print a page, or changing Firefox's options. If at any time you need to access the traditional menu bar, similar to other Windows applications, you could just hit the Alt key on the keyboard and it will show up. Since this is such an early beta, we need to note that at this point, the Firefox button is not at all finished. It doesn't have the final visual style, and in some cases, it's actually missing a few commands. But of course, this is all part of the fun of using a cutting edge, early build of Firefox 4. Also, if after a while you decide that you'd rather have the menu bar back, you can get that back by going to the Firefox button and then going to the Customize menu. On behalf of the entire Firefox user experience team, we all really hope that you enjoy using this early beta build of Firefox 4, and we're all really looking forward to hearing your feedback.